Hello everyone, my name is Hannah and this is Reem, Ella and Aveen and we are from the Girls in Physics group at Rice of High School. Over the last three years we've taken part in the Drayson project working on radio, radiation in soil experiment or RISE UK which involves collecting data about the types and levels of radiation emitted by soil around the UK for the Institute of Physics. We use the MX10 particle detector, which is one of around 50 used in schools in the UK. It has 15 gram samples that have been collected by students and staff at Rice at High on their travels, as well as students from the neighbouring primary schools. Ensuring the detector is 5 centimetres from the soil in every test, we record background radiation and then test the alpha, beta and gamma radiation coming from each soil sample. To collect the data, we connected the detector to a computer program called Pixelman, which is working with the detector produced to, with the detector produced the data for each experiment to run. The MX10 sends information about the radioactive particles that hit it to the computer program, which then in turn the, process the information, turning it into easy to read tables. <coughs> To try and get accurate results, we took three readings from the each background radiation and three for alpha, beta and gamma, and a total. We then wrote our results in a book with the addresses from which the soil was located and later compiled them into an Excel spreadsheet so they could be easily interpreted by the Institute of Physics. You now might be wondering, <coughs> why girls in physics? Well, a secondary aim of the project was to address the gender balance in A-level physics by offering this research activity to only meet female students. We want to stop people from feeling that they cannot pursue a subject they love as it is dominated by the opposite sex, and to encourage young female physicists to look into careers in physics before writing off as a male job path. Girls in Physics also took part in the Opening Doors project, which aims to eradicate unconscious gender bias in the classroom. This project has such an impact, we now have a separate equality group at our school, making sure every student is treated equally. Here you can see our data in the form of a graph. This shows the total mean radioactivity levels against the location. Last year's data has been sent off to the Institute of Physics, but the Year 11 group can continue to collect data in the hope that eventually we will have enough for definite conclusions to be made. Also, I think it would be interesting once sufficient data is collected for us to plot the data on a map and try to detect any correlation between area and radioactivity and to attempt to come up with ideas on why patterns are the way they are and see whether our data shows signs of linking with other data, for example, the occurrence of certain types of cancer. We have really enjoyed taking part in RISE UK as it has allowed us to complete primary research enlightening us to uh, what science beyond the classroom is like and has made physics more accessible for us despite our age and gender. Not only has it made, given us an insight, but it has given us skills using specialist equipment and provided opportunities to practice public speaking like today, and it has increased our confidence and curiosity. Mm -hmm. Speaking for myself personally, I know that RISE UK has opened my eyes to how interesting and interactive physics can be, meaning I've gone from someone who did not think much of the subject to someone who's just started and is really enjoying their physics A-level. So I think projects like this, if continued, will help restore the gender balance and get more girls into phys physics. Thank you so much for listening. We've been Girls at Physics at Rice of High School. Woo!